Only Fools and Horses, a beloved British sitcom that aired from 1981 to 2003, remains a cherished part of TV history with its humorous and heartfelt depiction of the Trotter family's escapades. The series not only brought joy and laughter to millions, but also showcased the talents of a remarkable ensemble cast. Over the years, many of the actors who brought these memorable characters to life have sadly passed away. This tribute reflects on the contributions of 27 such actors, honoring their legacy and celebrating the lasting impact they had on this iconic show. Ahmed Khalil in the sitcom he played Vimo Balik. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 20 years old and sadly passed away on November 9, 2021 at 50 years old. And me? He must have gone mad or he's been eating too many of his own curries. Buy it from me indeed. I wouldn't sell it to him if he offered me a... Roger Lloyd Pack in the sitcom he played Trigger. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on January 16, 2014 at 69. Thinking of forming an appeal committee, I said, you don't worry about that. You want to form an escape committee, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everyone round here knew. John Bryan's in the sitcom he played Dr. Becker. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41 and sadly passed away on March 2nd, 1989 at 46. Those new council bungalows in Harrington Road. Oh yeah, them, they're lovely, aren't they? Hey, they've got three bedrooms, little garden, robes at the park. Uh. Roy Heather in the sitcom he plays Sid. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47, and sadly he passed away on September 3rd, 2014, at 79. <laughs> Bread was toasted. <laughs> no fried slice. No, not this morning, shit. Michael Adwell in the sitcom he played The Englishman. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39, and sadly passed away on March 18, 2006, at 63. John Barden in the sitcom he played Policeman. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 and sadly passed away on September 12, 2014 at 75. What's it all about? I stop these gentlemen as they were leaving the store, sir, because I have reason to believe they have some stolen items in their position. Derek Newark in the sitcom he played Eric the Policeman. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48 and sadly he passed away on August 11, 1998 at 65. Roger Bearley in the sitcom he plays Brian. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 and sadly passed away on September 23rd, 2005 at 70. Oh, you're a bit long in the tooth for that sort of lark, aren't you? I'm a mature student. Oh, cool. Here, my brother went to university. Oh, Kenneth MacDonald in the sitcom he played Mac Fisher. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 33 and sadly he passed away on August 6, 2001 at 50 years old. That's £2.50, sir. <laughs> That's super. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Eva Motley in the sitcom she played Corinne. In 1983, when she was in the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and sadly she passed away on February 14, 1985, at 31. <sighs> all right, don't cut my head off. I only asked if you wanted a cup of tea. No, no, it's all right, Corinne. No, it's just that we're like that Magnus Mackerson, you know. Kim Clifford in the sitcom she played Vicky the Barmaid. In 1985, when she was in the sitcom, she was 24, and sadly she passed away on April 21st, 2019 at 58. Uh, can I put a lager in there and what's Bill drinking these days? God knows. Tuesday it's a Bacardi and Rush. Last week it was Grand. Christopher Malcolm in the sitcom he played Chief of Security. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 37 and sadly passed away on February 15, 2014, at 67. Unfortunately, you know, we've extended the search up to this area now. We have the entire police forces of three counties out looking for him. I was passing, so... Peter Woodthorpe in the sitcom he played Rack Trotter. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52, and sadly passed away on August 13, 2004, at 72. Groups. So, just to be on the safe side. I check my group with my donor's card, then I check your granddad's group with his old army records. And what do I discover? Jean Mockford in the sitcom she played Woman in Kiosk. In 1986, when she was in the series, she was 60 years old. And sadly, she passed away on November 16, 2018 at 92. 
Very reasonable, isn't it? That's not that too. <laughs> Desmond McNamara in the sitcom he plays Earl. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 43 and sadly he passed away on January 1st, 2022 at 84. Where's the enemy? She took the kids over her mum's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as the old man. Up and down like Tower Bridge. Still in Austin. Rex Robinson in the sitcom he played Harry the Foreman. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 57 and sadly passed away on April 13, 2015, at 89. I married the happy couple all those years ago. Of course, I had hoped by now that the good Lord would have blessed their union with an offspring. Max Harvey in the sitcom he played Mr. Peterton. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 44 and sadly passed away on January 30th, 2021, at 78. Look, Dad, you're in you're in to get out of here, all right? Actually, we haven't got a bill. <laughs> what a shame. Gentlemen, there are two ways of handling this un- Donald Bissett in the sitcom play Wallace the Butler. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 72, and sadly passed away on August 10, 1995, at 84. You shouldn't be pushing a car like that at your age. Keep your knees bent and your back straight. <laughs> Jeffrey Toon in the sitcom play Lord Richmere. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 72 and sadly passed away on June 1st, 2005, at 94. Yes, yes, but it must be in your office somewhere. All I know is your people came down here, examined the chandeliers, that was three weeks ago, and I Joan Sims, in the sitcom she played Auntie Rene Turpin. In 1987, when she was in the sitcom, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on June 27, 2001, at 71. Moved from Peckham in 1965, so that's nearly 23 years. You promised you'd come and see me. Oh. Gilly Flower in the sitcom she played First Old Lady. In 1983, when she was in the sitcom, she was 75, and sadly she passed away on February 17, 2001, at 92. Now we ain't got any pineapples, love, you see. Now it's this weather we've been having, you know, you can't get the people to go out and pick them. Never mind, I've got some nice pineapple tasting oranges here. Kate Saunders in the sitcom she played Sandra. In 1982, when she was in the sitcom, she was 22, and sadly she passed away on April 21st, 2023, at 62. I just brought Sandra back for a nightcap. Oh, oh, good. Hello again. Yeah, hello. Buster Merrifield, in the sitcom he played Uncle Albert Trotter. In 1985, when he was in the sitcom, he was 65, and sadly passed away on June 23rd, 1999, at 78. Come on, Skipper. Let's show you your vessel. Yeah, I like to look her over, Del. Make sure she meets with my approval. <laughs> Anthony Morton, in the sitcom he played Louis Lombardi. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56, and sadly he passed away on November 2nd, 2023, at 96. Same emergency. I never saw an emergency canary before. <laughs> I got a lovely green finch. She's beautiful. Anthony Jackson in the sitcom he played Juan, the Spanish prison guard. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38 and sadly passed away on November 26, 2006 at 62. To the charity of your choice. Okay. Charity of my choice? Yeah. Christopher Mitchell in the sitcom he played detective surgeon Terence Hoskins. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35 and sadly passed away on February 22nd, 2001, at 52. Someone's behaving in an unusual manner. Well, no more unusual than normal. Everyone's just carrying on the same. Leonard Pierce in the sitcom he played Granddad. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 66 and sadly passed away on December 15, 1984, at 69. Right up sometimes, still. I don't know why they want these drug addiction centers anyhow. I mean, ain't we got enough drug addicts without them? Rec <laughs>